Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to play a little bit of Warp and Warp. Let's just get right into it. So, this is a, a fairly new game that just came out from the guys at Opcode Games, published by Atari Age. So you can head over to atariage.com, check out their store, and you can find uh, this game for sale. Now, it requires a Super Game Module, so make sure you have one of those. And it, it's one of those games, I mean, it's, it's a... It's an MSX port of an arcade game ported to the ColecoVision, which I know sounds really confusing. That's actually not very important. The only thing you need to know is that it's actually a super fun, awesome game. I mean, I know, like, by face value, it sort of looks like, okay, it looks a little simple. Um, but honestly, like, this game is, is, is a lot of fun um, and has some really cool gameplay elements. Uh, this, this screen here kind of reminds me almost of, like, maybe like a Wizard of War without the maze part of it. Or you're you're kind of going around and you're trying to shoot these really happy, smiling, don't look dangerous at all, um, happy face guy monster guys with tongues. And then you'll see okay, see that warp warp section that's blinking? If I make it in here Oh I missed it, damn it. Okay. Uh, when that blinks, and if I make it in there while it's blinking, it warps me to another gameplay screen, which is kinda of like a bomberman type of level. You guys will see that in a second. Um Again, it's, it, it is a really fun, challenging game. Here we go. We're gonna warp, warp. I've only got a couple... Oh, and I died, of course, because I was being dumb. Um, okay, so in here, like I said, it's kind of like Bomberman. Um, you can drop pretty much as many bombs as you want to. Obviously, just like Bomberman, don't run into your own explosions. Um, I'm playing pretty poorly here. This is what I get from trying to talk and, and play games at the same time. Multitasking is not one of my stronger suits. We'll get this guy. Here we go. <laughs> We're warped back to this level again. Probably gonna die pretty quickly right here, so we can play again and show you a little bit more of it. Um, but again, like it's like I said, face value, it's like, oh, okay, game kind of looks simple, but again, this was a really fun arcade game. It was, it was early. I want to say this maybe even predated like Pac-Man and those types of games. Um, oh, let's warp, let's warp. Damn it, I've died. Okay, so we'll play one more time. Hello, warp and warp. Yeah, like I said, do not, do not judge this game by its simplistic look to it. And if you have a ColecoVision and a Super Game module, you can go over to AtariAge.com, pick up a copy. Supports the homebrew community, supports the homebrew uh, publishers, um, and you also get a really fun game out of it, which is kind of kind of like a, the, the biggest bonus. If you have a ColecoVision with an F18A chip installed, um, it even has some enhanced colors because the uh, oh, let's warp. Come get in there. Get in there. Left. I can get these guys. Ha, die, bastard. Smiley face, happy bastard. That's what you get for being so happy. Everything you get to kill in this game is, is really cute. I mean, it's it's like the equivalent to having a game of like with cute puppies and kittens or something in it. The frog guy over there is really cute. cute. Like you get a higher bonus by. Oh, I'm really sucking at this. Wow. play again. I'm going to try not to suck quite as much as I have in the last couple of games. Again, multitasking is not my thing. As much as I love like making videos and running the social media page, um, being good at games requires a little bit of concentration. Okay, we have a few more enemies now that we can destroy. Got a couple from there. Die. You can also warp back again. You'll see when you're in this level, uh, you'll see the warp warp. There it is. It's, it's back open again. So I'm gonna warp back again. Ooh, I think I took one out right as I left, too. You can see on the sides, it shows you how many enemies you have left to kill. So now all of the enemies are on the screen. I have one guy left. And, oh, damn it. I thought I had him. Die. 
also shoot the bullets, which is a very, uh, helpful thing. Although, I seem to be really bad at it at the moment for some reason. Remember, always try to get those bonuses. I want to warp again. Oh, damn it, see? This is me, like, being over anxious to go in and do the warp and I die. The game is called Warp Warp, so I always try to warp whenever possible. Ah. Ah. Do not kill me! And you killed me. Right after I say do not kill me, and you kill me. Bonus froggy, cute guy, die, cute frog, and he's dead. Okay, let's see if I can make it through here without dying. Nope. Should I play one more time? I'll play one more time. Alright, this time I'm going to try to play more seriously and not suck at the game. Damn it! Still have all my lives left. Come on, cute froggy guy. Yes. Really wanted that frog. Wasn't happening this time around. Yes, got him. Missed the warp this time around. Oh, come on. Yes. Last guy in. Frog, die, frog. We might actually make high score this time around. Come on! That was not cool. So like I said, this game does get very challenging. Come on, I want to try to warp. I'm going to miss it though, aren't I? They go faster than Alright, that's it. That's some Warp Warp. Remember, go to AtariAge.com, pick it up. Great game, and support the homebrew community. Go team.